Hello everyone, this is Blood Queen Tarot, and I am here to do a reading um, for fire signs, Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. Fire signs, this is your Valentine's Day reading for 2021. And I'm going to go ahead and jump in for time's sake. Um, you guys have what's crowning your energy for that day is expectation. So this could be you or somebody else. <clears throat> and also, I picked the... Um, an angel answer for y'all and I'll get into it when I get there. Um I picked this angel answer intuitive intuitively. And what I mean by that is um for the fire signs or the cross watcher, this is the answer according to spirit. So you can have a question in mind, you know, for the reading, you can have your own question in mind. But this is this answer is from spirit, so it's for whoever needs to, whoever needs it. So it's kind of like between you and spirit, whoever needs this answer. That's what I mean by intuitively. I didn't, you know. Um, me as being a reader, I don't have a question. I'm not gonna throw a question out there. Or anything. It's just whatever spirit know y'all need to answer to or about. That's what the, what that's what I mean by intuitively. Um, so I get to it when I get there, but I'm gonna go ahead and jump in. Y'all first card out was this Ace of Swords. So this is some type of truth, some type of breakthrough. What well, clarified the Ace of Swords was um, justice, major arcana for Libra. Um, this is um, air energy, Libra, Aquarius. A Gemini. So I don't know um, fire signs. If you have air in your chart, or you could be dealing with a Libra, or if it's not a, a person, this could be a justice uh, matter, a legal matter. When I asked for more information about the Ace of Swords, the Queen of Wands came out. So this is you, fire sign. The um, Queen of Wands is usually for um, Leo, a feminine, you know, Leo. Don't have to be. It could be any fire sign. Confident and magnetic. Queen of Wands. What clarified the Queen of Wands was the Seven of Pentacles. So fire signs, if you this uh, Queen of Wands, you could have Earth in your chart because this is Earth energy. Virgo towards Capricorn. So you could be waiting to take some action. You could be waiting or contemplating. You could be weighing out the pros and, the pros and cons. You could be contemplating taking this action, weighing out the pros and cons, some type of action you want to take. And um, because it's like in the spread, this Queen of Wands energy is looking at that Ace of Swords. So you could be contemplating some type of truth, speaking some type of truth. You could be waiting for some type of documentation in the mail. You could get this documentation in the mail on Valentine's Day. Some type of legal documents or something. Um, yeah, you could be also waiting or contemplating taking action regarding something somebody said to you, like a Libra, a Libra could have said something to you. So you could be contemplating something, taking action regarding what this Libra said to you, or you could just be contemplating what they said. Or weighing out the pros and cons of what this Libra said to you. Clarify justice. Clarify justice. Okay. And it say casket came out for justice. So it say someone going out of your life or the end of a situation. So it could be an ending of a legal matter. And you get um, proof of that. You get some type of truth. Maybe you had to speak some type of truth to put an ending to a legal matter. Maybe you get some type of documents letting you know that the legal matter is over. If this is a divorce, fire signs, if you want going through a divorce, and a le this is a legal matter, and it's saying someone is going out of your life, the ending of a situation, you can get um, confirmation that, you know, the divorce is final. Clarify this Queen of Wands. 
clarify the ooh, clarify the Queen of Wands. Okay. Um, two came out. I usually take the one that turned over. So this one right here is turned over. And I'm I still might include this other one down here. But um rabbit came out for the Queen of Wands. Too much concern with sexual matters. Um, so I don't know fire signs. Um, this don't have to be a female. This could be male as well. Male in a uh, male in this feminine energy, fire energy. So um This could be Queen of Wands, confident and magnetic. So you could be um, wanting to take action towards someone sexually. Because this say too, too much concern with sexual matters. I don't know. If you are married, like I said, if you're married, you know, and you and your person, probably the person you was married to, y'all could have been in separation or going through a divorce. You could have possibly been still dealing involved with your ex-spouse sexually. And you or your spouse could have, once that divorce was final, it's like somebody flipped the, the script on somebody. If this is like a marriage and a divorce, going on um yeah like y'all could have been sleeping together still y'all could have been still sleeping together but once you get some type of news that this divorce is final it's like somebody probably you know just switch up like you know i ain't sleeping with you something like that um what this also could be telling me is that now that you are single you're no longer with, you know, it, the divorce is final. It could be telling me that now, since you got this ace of swords about um, someone going out of your life, the end of a situation, possibly a divorce. It could be telling me that this is <laughs> all that's on your mind. Sexual matters. You ready to get back into the, um, the dating field? Yeah, that could be telling me that. Too much concern with sexual matters. And this also came out. Broken wishbone. Wish will not be granted. Yeah. Um, this could be you, fire signs. This is you or somebody else. Like, if I'm going to give an example. If this is you and you a feminine watching is probably a Leo. You could probably know that your ex-husband probably wants to still be involved with you sexually. And you could have been still getting involved with him sexually in in the during the divorce process because you probably, you know, you wanted certain things from him, like finessing him a little bit. And it's like once you get news that that divorce is final, you know your person still probably want to hook up and their wish will not be granted. Yeah. Once that divorce final, you're going to tell your ex-husband or your ex-wife absolutely not. I ain't sleeping with you because I'm getting you could have been sleeping with them through the through the divorce process to get what you wanted out of, you know, your ex. You finessed them for the last time. Probably. Yeah, that could be telling me that. But whoever has too much concern with sexual matters, their wish will not be granted. So I'm going to go ahead and go up here to the top because the top might tell me more about the bottom. So, y'all got expectation. So, I don't know. This could be a pregnancy. Somebody's expect, expecting. Or this could be you, fire signs, or somebody else expecting something. And this could be you expecting, like, your ex to think, you know, y'all still going to be involved sexually. And you got another thing coming for them. Like, you're expecting them to expect it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, clear if our expectation was this three of cups. So this is like a reunion. This is hanging out, going out with friends, family, drinks, dinner. Three of cups is um 
usually happy, like a gathering, being social, whether it's friends, family, or um, romance. Well, clarify the Three of Cups, which is Eight of Pentacles. Some more Earth energy. This is someone trying to prove themselves as worthy, putting the work in, wanting to work on something. When I asked for more information about expectation, the Eight of Swords came out. So, this is someone feeling um, mentally trapped. Something went too far. You or somebody else, fire signs, y'all went too far. Y'all don't know how to get out of a situation. Y'all don't know how to tell somebody no. Eight, eight of Swords. It's like, it's self-inflicted. Um, Usually with the Eight of Swords, it's self-inflicted. But if you, you know, you thinking you feel, you feel trapped mentally, but it's a way around it. Usually with the Eight of Swords, you ain't got to stay tied up like that. And so you can get yourself out of it. If this is not physical jail and you free, if you're not locked up, because the Eight of Swords can be somebody locked up. If you're not locked up, you could be bound mentally. But the reality is you can get out of this. This mental conflict. What clarified the Eight of Swords was this King of Swords. So, um, I don't know if, I'm going to clarify the Ace of Swords too. I don't know, Fire Signs, if you or somebody else was expecting a reunion. Like a, I'm getting because this card, that rabbit down here. So, like I said, for an example, if you are separated and divorcing your ex, this is like them expecting, like, for y'all to still get back together on a, sexually, even after the, the divorce. Yeah. Because it's like this Eight of Pentacles right here. This is like somebody is expecting a reunion. Or this could be telling me somebody don't mind a third party. They don't mind third party in love. Like, if you divorcing your ex, and say, like, if you, fire signs, if you um got somebody, your ex-husband know you got somebody, but since they still want to be involved with you sexually, they don't care. So, it's like, somebody wanted this reunion, this get-together, and they putting in the work, they putting in the effort, because this is what they want. Or this is somebody wanting... um. Let me clarify it before I get too much into it. Because this is nine swords. So somebody's stressed out. Eight swords and then that king sword. Like if this, this king of swords, if this is about a divorce, this is like the judge making his final decision. The king of swords. Like, you know, all the paperwork is done. Assets, everything split up. You know, kids, you know, everything is made clear. It's final. It, Y'all divorced and everybody know where they stand. So, somebody's stressed out. Nine swords. Guilty conscience. Can't sleep, can't eat, can't think. Nine swords. Clarify this ace of swords. Yeah, period of frustration, lessons to be learned. Yeah. Um, this can also be, this don't have to be a divorce. This could be like fire signs. Say like you had a third party and you go off somewhere and get married. This could be you letting the third party know you can no longer have sex with them because you're married now. Because somebody get this ace of swords. Someone is going out of your life or it's the end of a situation. Somebody get this truth and this clarifying period of period of frustration lessons to be learned. Yeah. Yeah. This ace of swords, this truth right here, whether it's somebody speaking truth or some type of documentation. Um, Fire signs. I don't know if this is a period of frustration for you or somebody else. But to say lessons to be learned. Too much concern with sexual matters. Wish will not be granted. If this is not a legal matter. If this justice card is not a legal matter. 
or a Libra, this is like this situation coming to an end or someone leaving your life. This was supposed to happen. Like this is the a major arcana and this is the universe stepping in on the scene and doing the right thing for everybody involved. It don't matter who like it and who don't like it. This is the right thing for something to end or someone to leave your life. Whether somebody leaving your life fire signs or you leaving their life, it's the right thing. And somebody is frustrated and it's a lesson to be learned. Yeah. Um, clarify funnel. No, let me use this deck. Clarify funnel in this ace of swords. Why is this a lesson to be learned? Clarify funnel in this ace of swords. Why is this a lesson? What is this? number 10? The pig when near or far is an omen of phenomenal luck and in great abundance. High honors in all in, in, Ambition attained. Okay. So. The number 10. Is an omen of phenomenal luck. So this is letting me know. Somebody got some news. Somebody got some truth about something. And this could be somebody. Somebody's fire signs. Or this is somebody else. This Ace of Swords right here, this Ace of Swords is somebody phenomenal luck. This is somebody's great abundance. And for somebody else, this Ace of Swords is a period of frustration. And this is a lesson to be learned. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Let me see. Clarify this Eight of Pentacles and Three of Cups up here. What is this about? What is this telling me? Number 24. Hand to hand indicates confiding disposition. Let me see. Clarify the eight of pentacles. What is this eight of pentacles? Broom. New home. New attitude. So... What I'm getting is possibly a third-party situation. Somebody is rejecting someone. Somebody rejecting someone. Fire signs, whether this is you rejecting somebody or somebody rejecting you. It was a third party. It was a third party, but somebody could have reunited with their person. And the other person is just leaving this behind. This And, it, and um... Like, they're working on their self now. So, fire signs. If you getting married with, to somebody, if, or even divorcing somebody, this is like you breaking the news to somebody, and they just go off somewhere and just start, you know, working on their self. They putting the effort into their self. They're not focused on this third-party situation. This person got their back turned to this. Because this person in this Eight of Pentacles, I'm getting this is possibly a new attitude. Because somebody was involved with it in the third party. But somebody got some bad news. This Ace of Swords and this is a lesson to be learned. So they just go off somewhere and just start working on themselves. It could be a new home. No, it's a new home, new attitude. I don't know. Maybe this person, you know, maybe they working on getting a new home. Or they got a new home. So, they, I mean, this could be an earth sign. So, you know, earth sign, they probably like, okay, love didn't work. So, let me just, I got other stuff to do, other projects. Let me just go off and work on my new home. Yeah. Um, Because this third three of cups is, um, indicates confiding disposition. So, I'm getting that somebody is left out of the equation. Somebody got left out of an, a third party. Like, the third party is over. Yeah, casket, that third party over. Yep, so somebody got left out, and the person that got left out, um, they not making no big fuss. They just going to go off, and they got new home, new attitude. Yeah. Um. But somebody's stressed, though. Somebody's stressed out because there's nine swords. 
Aries, if you the one that had to leave the third party out, if you're the one that had to break this news, you know, that you probably, you possibly, you know, if y'all, if you getting a divorce and you done with your husband, you don't even want to sleep with him. Or if you getting married and you got to tell the third party, you know, it's over. This could be you like stressing. Like you kind of, you probably feel bad, like a guilty conscience. You probably feel bad a little bit. <clears throat> yeah. Clarify expectation. Clarify expectation. Because I don't think whoever this person is that got left out of the equation, I don't think that's this person stressing. Clarify the eight of, I mean, clarify expectation. Yeah. Kangaroo. Unsettled times need to plan ahead. And pay attention to your health. Yeah. And it came out like this. Yeah. So, like I said, fire signs. If you, and I'm giving this as an example, but everybody got their own unique situation. So, um. Because I'm not exactly sure what the issue is. I'm just giving examples. So if you're. If you getting some ace of swords that. You know. The divorce is final. And you are still sleeping with your husband. You are still sleeping with your ex-husband. Through this divorce process. And you probably was using him a little bit. For whatever reason. Maybe you wanted the divorce to go your way. You wanted certain assets. And you had to still sleep with your husband. To get you know. The, the divorce, how you wanted it to go. And once you know that divorce over, you switch up on them. And because they got too much concerns with sexual matters, and you tell them, no, I ain't sleeping with you no more. Once you break the news to this person, they are going to be experiencing unsettled times and they need to plan ahead. And this is the person that gets the bad news. Whoever is um, frustrated and learning a lesson, this is them right here. Fire signs. This could be you or the other person. But somebody is stressing because they got this ace of swords. They got this truth. They got the facts. And they are going through unsettled times. Need to plan ahead and pay attention to your health. Yeah. So, and this is mental health. And emotional too, because this nine swords. So this is somebody all up in their head. This is mental turmoil, mental conflict. Up late at night, and insomnia. You can't sleep. You can't eat. You depressed. Guilty conscience. Yeah. So because because of this reunion, possibly, and somebody got left out of the equation because of this reunion. Fire signs, you probably expected your person to be nine swords. Or you could be nine swords because you knew that you was probably finessing this person. So you expected, this could be, this nine swords is you, fire sign. And you having a guilty conscience because you know you was using this person. And you about to let them go. And this could be this the person that you give the bad news to who is stressed out because you had to tell them the bad news. That you breaking up, the divorce final, I ain't having sex with you. Whatever this bad news is, and somebody is going through unsettled times, need to plan ahead. And they got to pay attention to their health. Nine swords. This is a health concern. This is a health concern. Nine swords is like, the, it can lead to depression. Because you in your head too much. Yeah. It can affect your sleep. It can affect how you eat. You probably can't eat. So that's what's going on. Somebody get some some truth for Valentine's Day. Somebody get the truth. And one party is good luck and great abundance. And the other person, this Ace of Swords, is a period of frustration and lesson to be learned. And somebody expected this to happen. Yep. So I'm going to go ahead on and read y'all angel card. Y'all answer. And let me see what y'all got. Y'all got romance. Romance is here. So, let me see what romance is saying.
And y'all answer is romance. And they say a very important relationship is about to enter or has recently entered your life. This is the romance you have been waiting for. Like all partnerships, there may be ups and downs, <clears throat> but don't let that deter you or shake your confidence. Have faith that love is coming into your life to stay. If your question was about a current relationship, you can expect the parties to be to become closer to one another. Past disagreements will fade away and trust will grow. All relationships have peaks and valleys. This card indicates an upward movement to a new level of dedication and intimacy. This can include engagement, marriage, or a form of commitment to one another. Yeah. So, this could be you, fire sign. This could be you, guilty conscience, because it was a third party and you got to let somebody go or give them the bad news that you're not sleeping with them no more. Because you could have another lover or you just want to stay single and not sleep with them no more. And you expected this. You had a guilty conscience. You expected this person when they got the, the, the truth or the matter. You expected this person to be a nine swords. Yeah. Well, it could be the other way around. But either way around it, your answer is romance. And everything that card said. Your answer is romance. So, fire signs, even if this is you, like you in this eight of pentacles energy and you get news that your person don't want to deal with you no more, y'all could be divorced or this person done went off somewhere and married somebody else and you just, you know, you ain't going to cause no smoke about it. You just go off and start working on yourself because you got new home and new attitude. But this romance card is letting you know um, that... um. Things is going to pick up concerning your love life. Yeah. Even if you're experiencing a valley right now. What does it say? Yeah. It say our relationships have peaks and valleys. So even if you're going through a valley, you know, this person, you know, because I'm getting somebody got left out. Somebody's getting left out. And it say our relationships have peaks and valleys. This card indicate an upward movement. To a new level of dedication and intimacy. So this is like um, fire signs. Even if this is you getting left out of um, the equation in this third party situation. This is like you going off. You working on yourself. You got a new home. And you got a new attitude. And you know, you probably, you know, get together. You move into a new home. You got a new address. And you meet somebody like your neighbor. Your neighbor probably single and, you know. You know, things can pick up for you. Yeah, this can include engagement, marriage, or a form of recommitment to one another. Yeah. Yeah. So, that's what I have for you, um, fire signs. Um, again, this was your Valentine's Day reading. And um, please don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and or share. And again, this is Blood Quintero, and thank you.